now we'll start with own choice marriage now i'll tell you own choice marriage is when a person does not like you know nowadays there are a lot of memes that go around that oh i uh, you know nobody loves me and anything like that you know so own choice actually means that you were not able to find a love partner for yourself but somehow when it was about the time of marriage you suddenly got a partner with whom you felt they are the good match for you and suddenly you just fell in love with them and you decided on getting marriage married and that happens you know pretty quickly not like having a relationship over 1 2 3 years uh, then turning it into marriage it's just the person was recommended it, it a sort of arrange come love or love come arrange kind of a marriage okay so this in in this chart the four, the fifth lord is in the sixth house not the best placement right this but the thing is that the seventh lord is in the 11th house and it is aspecting the fifth house the first lord is in the first house and it is aspecting the seventh house and it is along with rahu so that means that this person will marry a person they know from their social circle social circle can be their family social circle or their own social circle so this person will just decide yeah that girl i feel that girl is going to be suitable for me have one to two meetings three meetings and then decide on getting married to the person but they'll choose them they'll choose by themselves it will not be their parents who are going to decide for them or any one else is going, who is going to decide for them it is going to be them only right now next next fifth lord goes into the 10th house so we see there's no love marriage the seventh lord goes into the 12th house right that's just the seventh house seventh house uh, and seventh lord placement but what happens is that the first lord goes into the 11th house along with moon and sun and it is aspecting the fifth house so you know if if now this is also one snapshot prediction if sun is in the fifth house sun with some planet or suppose uh, if sun is in the fifth house not with saturn but alone or with some other planet the person might not get a love marriage they'll be into an arranged marriage only because their father somehow create that obstacle into the love marriage but if the sun is right in the opposition then the sun is going to give its light we we have always learned it the sun wherever it sits it does give light into the into, it brightens up it brightens that house but it may also burn the significance of that house but wherever it is aspecting from wherever it is sitting the seventh aspect there it is going to illuminate because being at a you know a subtle distance from sun you might enjoy the sun rays right like right now in winters in india right so that's why sun's aspect being thrown into the uh fifth house and the first lord being exalted and aspecting the fifth house this person is going to try to marry another person of their choice and their mother is actually going to help them with that okay now next yeah so here we have saturn in the fifth house in pushya the lord of the fifth house is in the eighth house and the lord of the seventh house is in the ninth house so what i feel is that this person might have a relationship in their life that will turn to a sexual encounter also or a serious thing also but it won't go 
into a marriage why because the fifth lord goes into the eighth but there's no connection with the seventh lord mercury right and of course i also see a little delay in the marriage of this person and this person since their dharakarka is in pushya and they have saturn in pushya in the fifth house i do see they might experience a love encounter in their life where the partner is going to leave them for some other partner so because of that that is actually going to be the catalyst for their career upliftment so somehow this person may decide to get married a little later in life also because i do see delay most probably 31st year i don't want this person to freak out because i know you are just 19 years old right so there's nothing to freak out about i feel i can suggest you that right but yes i do see that you have a very bright future and very bright career ahead so concentrating on that you might thank me at some point of time because i see a beautiful marriage life for you actually because of your navamsha so you know sometimes uh, you know it's not sometimes most of the times we hear that people say that good things take time so that is the case with this person all right now the next example now here we have sagittarius ascendant so the fifth lord goes into the seventh house which is mars but it is conjunct ketu very very tightly ketu is at 2 degrees and mars is at 3 degrees so that's why of course it's not a love marriage for this person okay and the seventh lord goes into the ninth house and gets conjunct with the first lord that's why this person is going to have an own marriage see the connection of the seventh house with the fifth lord is going to be about a person getting a love marriage but the connection of the seventh house with the first lord without any connection of the fifth house means an own marriage own choice marriage okay now next example now here rahu in the fifth house of course the person wants to get married uh, by their own choice only right so the fifth lord goes into the 11th this is a good place for a love marriage but this jupiter is being in a tight conjunction only 7 degrees apart from ketu and again sun i did tell you whenever planets like ketu and sun are connected with the fifth house or fifth lord they might hinder the success of a love marriage but although the promise of their own choice of marriage is there because their fifth lord is in the 11th so that means the romance will be there the romance will be a theme of their marriage okay but not in a love marriage way but in a decision deciding way right so guys this was my explanation to find out how to see whether you are going to have a love marriage and arranged marriage on an or an own choice marriage right so i hope these examples have given you good insights into this uh, you know into this technique and uh, you can apply you can go on and apply it over your parents your neighbors whomsoever you know apply on their charts and do let me know how do you feel about this technique after applying it and watching it playing out through the charts of others okay guys so this was my analysis 
Uh, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. If you guys would like to have a consultation from me, you can check out the link below www.unmoleastrology.com. And under the consultation section, you can book a personal reading for yourself. And if you guys are learners of astrology and you want to have unique readings, which includes Thribhagi analysis, Dribhagi is a part of Dasha analysis, Nakshatra analysis, or spiritual progress, you can go for the unique readings. That is also under this uh, link only, under the unique readings section. And if you are interested to uh, learn astrology from me, then you can go under the course section under the website and there you can reach out to me about the framework and prices of the courses. I have two courses available right now. First is going to be the foundational Vedic astrology course and the second one is the Prashna seminar. You know, the courses I teach is in two ways. The first way is through the video recordings. The another way is one-on-one -on -one session on Zoom meetings, right? So the prices are, of course, different from both of them. For both of them, it is a certified course. I'm very, very flexible with the timings of uh, teaching and of course with the discussions as well so i generally offer more than one to two additional doubt sessions after you have done your course after 15 days after 20 days even so if you want to have it you can just reach my website we'll see you next time bye bye take care